What's up YouTube, Car Boss here, back in another video, we're talking about cards, money, investing. Today, we're going to discuss about Marvel cards that ended in last night's coding auction, my reactions on some of the closing prices on some of the bigger cards that ended. Um, I spoke with uh, Ginger Man Cards last week in the interview, and we did a preview on some of these cards, right? And he did extensive coverage on his video just this morning, which you guys can check it out. I'm just not going to talk about all the listings here, but just going to focus on some of the key cards which I felt the prices kind of like you know, went outside my expectations, right? So good and bad, both of them. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about the exquisites. So these were the highlights of this particular auction, which I did mention in my earlier videos as well as in my discussion with Ginger Man cards that these exquisites don't come out to auctions pretty often, especially these nameplates here that's numbered out of 10. I spoke a bit about this exquisite from 2016 marvel gems they are pretty nice looking cards right and the spider-man psa 9 that's the base so-called the base version that's number out of 30 closed for 6300 dollars and there was reasonable expectations for this particular card to end above 20 or maybe in fact touching 30,000, right uh, considering that how rare this card that's out of 10 is actually um, pretty hard to pretty hard to come by but of course you know given the circumstances that marvel card prices are kind of a bit on a depressed at the moment i didn't expect any investors to come in to kind of like swoop this card for long-term value but i would assume that there are a bunch of collectors that are looking for this particular spider-man to add to their pc i guess one thing that i didn't foresee was you know the price you know coming at seventeen thousand. this is definitely it's a big number right but maybe you know true and true spider-man collectors do have a kind of certain budget that they are uh, putting into their PC and there are not many people who are willing to shell out I would say in excess of $20,000 for a particular card such as this even though how rare and how nice this card is the PSA 8 grey here I don't think it made much of a difference here it's definitely it's, a, it's already a tough piece to find in any condition right so let, let alone a PSA 8 so $17,000 a bit below I would think that should have gone above 20 but still an awesome price for an exquisite moving down we have got a venom here a pmg green that's eleven thousand dollars this is not one of the nicer venoms right the 2017 venoms look to me looks the nicest i think that a lot of people can agree but this one kind of a bit surprising firstly it's a bgs9 mint condition which is which is always good this doesn't come with subgrades but having to examine the card's uh, condition uh, up close uh, in uh, further doesn't really pop out any condition issues so this probably would have crossed over to a psa 9 perhaps okay that may get extra value on this eleven thousand dollars here though like i said this is not the preferred venom for most people but then again i can understand that the price that you pay plus ten thousand dollars you know for a top character like venom um and in the bgs 9 slab in the bmg green so perhaps this i would say label it as fair right what's not fair is this particular gambit here right so i had reasonable expectations that this gambit at a bgs 9.5 gem mint would have gone much much higher than this eight thousand dollars i myself was bidding on this particular item but you know i was actually on the crossroads you know figuring out on my pivoting to formula one and also considering the putting money into this gambit i knew that if i was to put significant money into this gambit it would be a long long term hole because uh, you know people assume that uh, gambit is going to appear in mcu in the coming years but you don't know when but definitely this is going to be a long term hole and i wasn't really prepared to sink in let's say like ten thousand dollars of capital into a card beyond two or three years you know as, you know especially for i wouldn't say it's a bad character for gambit it's more of a i would say a speculative character right even though how popular gambit is the true and true investable characters i always believe is still the top five characters spider-man wolverine deadpool and a selection of any other two which you can think of but definitely gambit doesn't form part of the top five so it was a decision of um maximizing my capital holding so it just didn't make sound decision for me to kind of like put in like ten thousand dollars to keep something on a truly long term even though it's a nice piece like this pop one bgs 9.5 suddenly this is an awesome piece for any gambit collector out there moving on so this is one pmg blue i man 2017 six thousand dollars pretty good price for 2017 pmg the one thing it's a pop one so i think that this is what drew the buyer here to put in shell out six thousand dollars for this pmg blue we haven't seen 
any PMG blues, you know, going in excess of five thousand dollars for pretty much for pretty long time, in, in my opinion, right? So good price. Uh, I think that this is going straight to a PC pop one, well deserving for a six thousand dollar price tag. So we got a couple of exquisites here. I'm going to talk about the Wolverines, and then there, there is a Doctor Strange and uh, Thanos as well, right? So the one thing about this Wolverine is same thing as the Spider-Man, right? This doesn't come up very often, but one thing surprising is the closing price tag for only six, close to six thousand dollars, and I believe that the one that's out of thirty and also in the PSA eight holder close for a price of I believe thirty six hundred or thirty nine hundred, so close to four thousand dollars, right? So you would expect that something that's out of ten to be at least double that amount, eight thousand dollars. Uh, price tag or maybe closer to the spider-man that we saw above for seventeen thousand dollars but surprisingly close for just under six thousand dollars so i think that this was a bit undervalued especially for a top character like wolverine so whoever picked this up definitely is a steal again the great psa 8 doesn't really make much of a difference to the exquisites given that how rare uh, these pieces actually are right so um i think that the buyer just got a steal for this fifty seven hundred dollars Storm $5,400, PSA 10 doesn't come up very often, but I guess there is premiums for PSA 10s. Moving on, so these were two lots. There were there, there are two lots here, two PMG lots here, which I discussed with Ginger Man cars last week, right? There's 2015 lot 15 cars as well as there is this, I think, eight card lot. Or, yep, eight card lot for 2013. So I'm going to discuss about this one first, right? So, fifth. 15 cards for about 5200 that works out about like 350 dollars a card and you have a solid selection of characters right not really the big names here but you have magneto ghost rider star lord loki so few decent characters right for 350 you know if you average out you you just picked up this decent characters right here one two three maybe four and you just put like say a 150 dollar price tag on the others i think that you still perhaps get good value on this now what do you do with this lot here right you send for grading so i think that we come to a point whereby marvel pmgs the grading adds a little bit of value if it was in a psa 9 holder i think psa 8 is still okay you might actually cover the cost of your investment but i think seven or sixes you're gonna perhaps lose money on this and i did uh, point this out in my discussion in ginger bank cars that perhaps the person who listed this lot here either uh, broke up the lot, uh, broke up his uh, his set, and just graded the nicer pieces or the bigger pieces to sell it individually. And these were the remaining cards that he decided to sell as a lot, or he was trying to put together a set but just didn't really come together and just decided to abandon the project uh, altogether. Right, so 15 cards is roughly almost a one third, or maybe in excess of the one third mark. There's 42 cards in the set, so just exiting at a $5,000 price, uh, considerably much, much lower than where it was used to be in a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, right? So fair price, whoever got this um, decent addition to your collection, depending on what you plan to do, but fair price at $5,200 or $350 a piece. Mystique here is a bit head scratcher here, considering that the Gambit was like, you know, 8,000 bucks and this is like, you know, 5,000 bucks for a 6.5. So I think that this is whoever that purchased this bucket mystique is trying to put together the set for the 2013 PMGs, which is uh, quite a strong endeavor. You know, the Alpha here, one of 10, may or may not make a bit of a difference, uh, considering that it's a 6.5 grade, right? So again, targeted buyer somebody really just needed to add this to the pc in my opinion so that's why the high price point of five thousand dollars this one dark phoenix here 9.5 pgs you know consider same as the storm right somebody paid a premium for this for a jamming condition who oh, there's the dark phoenix collectors out there i'm gonna skip past this hulk we talk about thanos exquisites together with dr strange and there's a wonder down here right so these closing prices for these for these exquisites are kind of like i could say on par this one here 3900 for thanos it's a psa 9 again with these with these um name plates right i think the grade doesn't really play such a big role in terms of the premiums that it's just so hard to get individually and this thanos actually looks awesome right so four thousand dollars again all these these ones even dr strange and wanda at three thousand dollars and 2500 i think they're all fair price to pay for something that's doesn't really come up very often right i would have expected in the high times right if talking about these auctions closing in february back then would have ended in the i would say the eight thousand dollars range right even like you know if let's say the timing for this 
exquisite for this Doctor Strange and this Wanda were during the trailer release of Multiverse of Madness, I would think that these ones easily fetch close to five thousand dollars on each of these pieces. So timing wise, kind of you know push down the prices on these two, but nevertheless, these are still good pieces to own, and these are good prices to come in at. Um, last couple of cards I want to talk about is these two Captain America here. Again, this particular Captain America has gone under scrutiny. The blue versions, right, people keep on talking about the 88k crash down to 20k. And now you see the red, that's out of 100, which is two times the, the population count, so to speak, right? Out of 100, blues out of 50, closing at only $4,000. So where are we at, you know, projection-wise with the blue? If you do a double estimate, this blue will be $8,000. So you're talking about like a 90% crash from the 88,000. Call it what you want. You know, I, I don't I don't believe that all the transactions all were there were accurate. You know, eighty eight thousand was a bit suspect again on the timing, but three thousand dollars for this PSA eight. This is a collector's piece. You know, back, nice back, back red background on a cap. Four thousand dollars fair price PSA eight fair grade. So decently priced. Same goes for this PMG um, blue it's for twenty fifteen cap as well. This one has the little print line here which I spoke about many, many times, right? It doesn't really affect the grade as much. We can see the surface here still greater than 9 overall. You know, it didn't really get punished on this. So 3600 fair price, PMG Blue 2015. Nice looking Captain America. So good deal overall. And the last card I want to talk about is this Deadpool, right? So this one here, it's one of the nicer Deadpools compared to the three nicest picture. This is a PSA 9, which is quite hard to get as well. So 3600 in just cheap, right? I, I really wanted to buy this one, really, really want to buy. I, I have a red Deadpool as well um, in the PSA 9 holder, and this would look nice side by side to it. But again, similar to the situation with Gambit, I just, you know, looking at the Marvel, Marvel market at the moment from investment point of view, there is, there is still, you know, whatever piece that you buy here, if you're not a collector and you're solely an investor, these are all long-term plays, right? So every single one of these, you're putting money to hold in the long term because in the short term, you're not going to flip this at a profit, right? That's for sure. You're not going to buy this and then put on eBay two weeks from now and try to make some money. It's just not going to happen that way. So again, to put this depot in, you know, to, to think of it long-term, whether or not, you know, this will actually go up, you know, in, in my targeted uh, return, let's say 20% or 30% in the next one year, it's it's quite hard to say. It's quite hard to say, right? It may happen quickly for, you know, this is actually maybe a good price to some people who just missed out on this auction because I think that the fair value on this depot here is at least close to $5,000. But then again, you know, it's just doing the math on my side and deploying my capital accordingly. So this one, uh, along with a couple others I pointed above, I think uh, it's extremely, extremely good deal. All right, that's, so that's my quick repack here. Re, repack what? Recap on coding auction recently. So some good prices, some surprises, some I could see them ending at these certain prices like this high man here, you know, the exquisites here. Rounded up quite nicely overall, even though I think that they would have performed a lot, a lot better given the timing and perhaps it's got to do with Godin as well right given that so many Marvel cards has entered into the system and this kind of pushed back up to you know April early May whereby unfortunately catching the wrong side of the wave all right that's all I have for today uh, do check out my other content on Marvel and other kind of investing uh, material so like and subscribe thanks for watching guys Cowboys out